So just to let you know, one lucky commenter on this video is going to get a free shirt from myaudionerds.com. So make sure you leave a comment and you'll get a free t-shirt. Also remember, at any time, you can visit helpmedevon.com to get some of our vocal templates and presets to support this channel. Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how I go about getting powerful upfront stereo vocals. I'm gonna show you how to get your vocal from this. Oh, baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. You told me be honest, and I told you to never lie. Keep it real. To this. Oh, baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. You told me be honest and I told you to never lie, keep it real. And this effect is pretty uh, easy and simple to create. Uh, and it also involves a free plugin, uh, basically where you use to get this effect. Now, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe. It will really help a lot. And visit helpmedevon.com to get some of our vocal chains, templates and stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's get on with the tutorial. All right. So long story short, what I'm using to get this effect or this stereo sound is a doubler plugin. Uh, the doubler plugin that I'm using in particular is a free one from Isotope called the Isotope Vocal Doubler. Yes, it, Isotope has a free do vocal double plugin that I actually use and I, I really, really love. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this particular plugin. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using it as a send, sending it to an aux that is then feeding the doubler, which has the effect there as you can see right here. Now, what I'll do is I'll solo this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this all the way down, because I want you to understand what this doubler is doing, and I'm gonna bring it up, just so you can get an idea of what it's doing. So check this out. Oh baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. You told me be honest and I told you to never lie, keep it real. Cause I know that this shit can get confusing easy, so easy. So if you listen to that closely, you can hear that stereo kind of sound and feeling kind of come up on the sides of your headphones or your stereo monitors. Now be very careful and always check your face. And also, I'm actually checking this uh uh uh, in mono to see if it disappears. The beautiful thing about why I like this isotope vocal doubler is uh, it really keeps and retains that middle information. Um, and that's why I really like going about it. But always be safe, always check your face. Meaning, or basically saying, put it in mono. If it disappears, you got a problem. Okay, just a tidbit for you. So just to show you guys that it actually is doing something because I know a lot of people may say, okay, well, is it really becoming more stereo? Well, I'll show you this. Let me take off the short verb and a long verb, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this with just how it is, just raw as it is. No doubler, no nothing. Listen to the vocal. Oh baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. Do you see this little line that got created? That is basically portraying that this sound that it's emitting is mono. It's super, super down the middle, just mono. Uh, look again. Oh baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. And just to prove to you a little more, okay, let's add the reverb to it, which the reverb should add some stereo uh, 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 feel to the entire vocal. Check this out. Oh baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. You told me be honest and I told you to never lie. Now that we did that, let's take off the reverb, let's put back on the doubler, and let's bring this thing up slowly. Check this out. Oh baby, pull up and give me something to remember you by. You told me be honest and I told you to never lie, keep it real. Cause I know that this shit can get confusing easy, so easy. So as you can see, you could go crazy with it, of course, but be very, you know, use it sparing, sparingly as far as to enhance whatever you're trying to make more stereo in your mix especially something that is coming from a mono place. I like the Isotope Vocal Doubler because it has a very interesting way of creating that doubled sound. Uh, I like to use it a lot of times with my reverbs, excuse me, with my lead vocals. And sometimes I like to use it on my backgrounds as well, just to fill up and make it sound more stereo. I notice on things like Justin Bieber vocals or pop vocals, they like to use or they create these really stereo sounding vocals that I love. And this is one technique or one way that you can use to kind of give you that stereo sound. The last thing I'll show you within that doubler chain is kind of important too. Now for me, I added just a little bit more on top of the vocal doubler. So as you can see, here's the vocal doubler. I have the separation at 100%. And what you could do is 
I add an S1 imager to it and pull it even more to the sides uh, to basically exaggerate that uh, wideness uh, feel. Now, of course, there's a lot of different ways for you to get wideness or more upfront stereo vocals, but this is just a super, super quick, easy, right out the bag kind of technique just to give you some more stereo. Like I said, use it sp sparingly. You don't have to crank it all the way. You just sometimes just want a little bit more fluff and it has a really cool way of actually enhancing the entire sound of your entire vocal or whatever your sound source is. But then just bring it down just a little bit as far as the lead is concerned or whatever the main sound source is just to kind of make sure you're still blending in um, with your entire mix. But this trick is super powerful, super quick. Um, and it gets you going. It's it's just uh, it's something I've been doing for a little while now, and I just have fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that really quick tutorial. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you visit helpmedevon.com for some of our vocal chains, templates, and presets. And also make sure you visit us at Help Me Devon on Instagram, as well as you join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring artists, engineers like yourself. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well below. I hope that was really helpful. Let me know below if you liked it, and uh, 